Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I am standing in front of one squeaking F-150 because, well, I got corrected. Not supposed to use dial. Tell him Bill the other day while doing RS7 wheel things, and he's like, hey, you're using the wrong type of soap. I'm like, what do you mean, wrong type of soap? He's like, you're not supposed to use dial on it. You're supposed to use Irish, Irish scent or Irish cream, whatever it is. Irish spring, that's it. You're supposed to use Irish spring on it. So I was like, all right, let's get a bar of Irish spring. So. We're gonna try fixing the bulk sweep one more time with soap. Give it a whirl. So I figured this time, being as it's squeaking, we can do like a in the moment test and see if it actually works. Let me get my soap on a stick ready and we're gonna give it a whirl. So now it stopped squeaking on me. Give it a go. It actually stopped squeaking once it got up to temperature, so it's one of those. Honestly, Bill and I have had this discussion. It, so at the end of the day with this thing, it really doesn't matter if it works or doesn't work. If it works, fantastic. But if it doesn't, yeah, no big deal. We'll switch a belt. Bill and I have already discussed, we're not gonna chase accessory noises down, even though it's pretty, even, okay, so here's the deal. You can chase an accessory noise and end up replacing all of them and have twice as big a bill as what you originally started with. Especially when you're dealing with older vehicles like this, rusted bolts, broken bolts, prior crappy maintenance, all those things are factors when you start working on older vehicles. So when you say, okay, let's chase this squeak, as a consumer, those are things that you need to be prepared for. And here, not just on Fords, it doesn't matter if it's an Audi, an Audi, an Audi, a BMW, I have no Volkswagens to point at, a poor, it, it does not matter the manufacturer. These are factors of old vehicle maintenance. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about, oh, well, maybe a $2 bar of soap will fix my problem. All right, guys, well, I, while I let that thing do its thing, this battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna do one of these. And I'll catch you in a minute. All right, guys, so got sidetracked for a hot minute. It's a couple phone calls come in. Um, truck seems to be not making any noise. Seems to be fine, so probably gonna send that. I got a new belt coming anyway, so we'll have it in the truck in case we need it. Uh, Donnie and I discussed yesterday that my objective is to make seat brackets for this thing so that on my agenda which means we might have to with that said though we might have to make a trip to shapiro metals the next thing on the list after that oh we have this engine i've got all the parts finally so we got to get those unboxed all from rock auto this comes back to that whole thing about you know it doesn't matter how you get your parts if they're available as long as they're available and they're in a brand that you trust so I'm a firm believer in that. I don't care who's got it. Doesn't matter to me. As long as the part brand that I need or want, I'm good. So uh, with that said, rockauto.com had the, had the best deal on basically the entire rebuild kit from here up. There's a couple of th little things I'm gonna have to call to Audi to get uh, like these gaskets right here. These things are flat for the oil cooler. Those are flat. The SAI tube gaskets, those are toast. I might be able to get those at IVT or I might have them, I don't know. There's a couple of little nuanced gaskets that I couldn't seem to locate. That's not to say they're not out there, it's just to say that my looking abilities weren't up to enough par to find them. What else is there? I literally, hit, like my, I was talking to you guys and my brain just went, pew, and shut down. Steve's LSD is, you know, coming away. The Traction Concepts LSD actually came in yesterday. So Steve from S4 Race Wars went with the performance build a diff service and packaged it with the Traction Concepts LSD street spec package. On RowdyAudi.com, you guys can get a street or a race variant of Traction Concepts LSDs that I offer. The new bearings have came in. Those are for this bit right here. Still waiting on a couple other little things. Before I can get this stuff much farther broke down and get it cleaned and get it ready to go back together, I need all the parts here. Kinda stuck in holding on that right now. So the only, th what we can do is move on to 3.2 liter blown head gasket things, which all the parts of our, like I said earlier, all the parts have came in for that. I think that's our plan of attack. At the end of the day, as much as I want to work on this thing, this pays the bills. That doesn't yet. So now that we got all that out of the way, I guess we should make, start making some money, huh? Time to clock in at 4.45 in the evening. Just dive into what we got in the boxes. Like that's the most, yeah. I need to figure out what I got, what I forget. What do I have to order that I oops and didn't buy? So hopefully nothing that I haven't mentioned already. <laughs> what do we got here? Ooh. Sounds like bolts. Kind of curious to what kind of magnets I got. They always send magnets in the boxes, so I should get three new ones. 
Oh, what kind of magnet did I get? I got, who doesn't tell me, I think it's a Cadillac. I don't know, I think it's a Cadillac. Somebody let me know in the comment section below if this is a Cadillac or not. Or maybe a Lincoln? Not sure. Usually they say, but this one doesn't say. What did we get? What did we get? All right, so that's gaskets. Bolts. I think that's one cylinder head. What'd I get for these? Uh, oh, that's crankshaft steel, and then that's one set of head bolts. All right, what's in the next box? Ooh, more bolts. I bet you I open this one upside down. Oh, what do we get? Oh, I know this one. This one's a Camaro. It even says, nine, it's a nine, oh, one of 96, but that's a, I think this is a 70s Camaro because of the bumper right there. Not 100% sure. Somebody, once again, somebody let me know in the comments section below if you know what year this is. Well, pretty good lineup. All right. More bolts. One last package. All right. This is the cylinder head gaskets. Oh, those are, I think, the intake gaskets. Uh, though, that's the high pressure pump, I do believe. Exhaust manifold, intake. Maybe, oh no, maybe those are the cam sensor gaskets. I don't know. There's a lot of crap in this, but this kit is the cylinder head gasket set, one of one. So that's the last thing in there. What do we get? Oh, a Jeep. What is that, XJ, I think? I think that's an XJ. I think you guys already know what I'm getting ready to ask. Let me know. There is pretty much everything we're gonna need for this. Less of a couple, like once again, less of a couple little oddball components. The rest of it's all RTV. Seriously, you, we don't have to reuse the. Ch we can reuse all the chains, all the guides, all everything that's not broken. There, we'll be able to reuse the cam seals. Technically, somebody I'm sure is gonna argue that you shouldn't do that, but you can. Uh, the, other than that, the only thing I really got to deal with is the car has a bit of a starter issue. Before we got it, it wouldn't crank the starter, but I, there was a malfunctional starter codes in there. Original starter is someplace around here. When I got it off the car, I was able to hit it with, you can hit it with one of these guys, which basically you put this lead on the starter solenoid, this lead on power, you push the button, basically it bypasses a whole bunch of bits of the car and the thing goes ding, 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 and spins. Usually starting whatever it is if the car's on. It engaged on the ground. I don't remember if it was spinning or not, if the Bendix like, it, the Bendix just popped out or if it actually spun, I can't remember. We're gonna have the starter tested at AutoZone, bench testing starter machine there. We'll take it up there and get it done. But before we can do anything else, guys, I gotta get these parts cleaned up. We gotta get this, the table here, set up in a way that we can work. And we gotta get rid of this mess because I'm just gonna trip over it. Not to mention that extension cord and those bits on the floor. I got a couple things here to do before we get into this. I'll be back in like 13 milliseconds. So yeah, I know I was I was preaching earlier about making sure you got quality parts. Something else I'm gonna preach about here real quick is, yes, you order quality parts from some random internet website. You still should open the box and make sure that the, that you ordered are the same to what you got. Is that right? If you need to return anything or if there's any differences you give yourself plenty of opportunity to get this stuff back to them a lot of these companies have a really good policy about returning products that aren't right or on seeing defects or for that matter the count is off that's the difference between going online and going in a store you don't have somebody to hold accountable and i get that so these are just things that i've done what's that cya make this kid friendly moment here for a second not refundable if open. Meanwhile, this end right here has got a, just basically a piece of tape over it. Look to be the same length, same head style, same pitch. Should go right in. Yeah. Perfect. All right. And there should be, I think, 10, 8 in here. So how many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Here's our, one of the cool things here about the crank seal is the seal itself sits on this little housing. You're gonna need this housing, so don't just like chuck it in the trash. This is actually what you can use to line it up when you're putting it back in here, so. You know, these are things that I've learned as I've done it. Try to share as much as I can, as often as I can. Some of this stuff is a glorified pain in the butt. Like, it really is. All right, the last thing we're gonna take a quick peek at here. This box should have all of our head top end bits in it. Ah, yes, okay. What I was talking about earlier, I didn't realize this came in it, but I am thankful that it has. This is the RTV or the case half sealant or the OEM specific RTV 
to seal this engine back up. So this time, hold on. So this timing cover here, this groove, you have to clean this groove out and a handful of other places on there. And all of those are what seal the timing cover onto it. And you're supposed to use very specific uh, RTV for it. This is the one I got with this kit, obviously. I believe, yeah. Here's what you get if you order it from ECS Tuning. So if you want the exact same stuff, it's L-ring, Durco gray, gasket, something, 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 RTV silicone gray. I think the part number is 510030. If you want, if not, or if you need to know the uh, part number on this, this is a JV8 is what they call it. Another one of those fun fact things if you don't wanna or don't need all of this but you need that. This kit also has the valve cover gaskets, which is awesome. Two new head gaskets. And this should be every single, pretty sure those are for my intake manifold, or those are, one of the two are. Uh, these are for, that's this guy, and where's the other one? I don't recall taking anything like that out, so that's a bit, that's a bit unnerving. I don't know what these are. Hmm. There's definitely a couple bits that I need to order. I need to order a couple new bolts for the transmission housing. There's a few of these that are broken, so we're gonna get those on order. I need to get these gaskets on order and get this thing cleaned up, so. All right, guys, well, I think that's where I'm gonna end today's vlog, so you know the deal. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you're new to the channel and the AI got you here, consider subscribing. I'm Audi. peace. Thanks for watching.